Hello, witches and wizards. It is time for another Brilliance event. And I know I've said I was going to do a live, but I actually think that for this particular Brilliance event, it would be better off if we just do a quick little video. The first thing that you're going to notice is that you have a gift up in the gift shop. Let's see what this is. Again, I have no spoilers as to this. Okay, so you can buy for 800 coin, which again, seems extremely expensive. Three trace for tonics, three invigoration drafts, two silver keys, three level five oddity rune stones, 150 spell energy, and two potent extimulo potions. But luckily for us, there are other options. There's this SOS bundle as well. Let's go ahead and take a look what's here. Trace detection, invigoration draft. So just a little bit less of everything that's in the $800 one. And then of course, I'm definitely going to collect the free one. Two Arumpa Torns, 15 spell energy, two Angel's Trumpets, and one Unicorn Hair. So what is this most recent Brilliant event? Well, I will tell you, I'm going to jump into the registry over here. And that is not even where my registry is. So let me back out of there and act like I actually know what I'm doing here. If we go into the registry, we will scroll all the way over to the events. Pardon me, I'm a little out of sorts here. But you will see Brilliant 12 Grimald Place. And I hope that I'm saying that correctly because if I'm not, I'm going to get completely flamed in the comments below. But here's what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six different foundables for this particular registry. You will notice it looks like the outline of Sirius Black, and that's because it is Sirius Black. You will need 12 of those, and those can be found in the wild through regular Brilliant Encounters. We also have the portrait of Phineas. I can't say that. Nigellus, I hope I'm saying that properly, which you're going to get out of Brilliant Port Keys. I'm pretty sure that is going to be this one right here. You have a troll leg umbrella stand. Obviously, that's going to be this guy right here. You will get those out of quests. You also have the creature with locket. It's going to be available in quests. And then the Order of the Phoenix photo, which I guess is going to be this one down here in the bottom left hand corner. That is going to be wizarding challenges rewards. You're going to need to use your rune stones in order to do that. And finally, you have the Phoenix Patronus, which is going to be out of different quests. And speaking of quests, if I go over and do the quests now, you will notice that we have for level one, there's four different quests, but level one, dine at two ends, super easy to do, brew six potions, return three oddity family foundables. I can actually take care of some of that right now. Here is an oddity foundable. It is a pixie. Pixies are going to be spawning with a lot more frequent C as well as Urklings. Ah, success. The Asgabon Escapee and the Death Eaters. So those are really nice. Trace detections are supposed to be bringing in Horned Serpents. So the first thing I'm going to try to do is complete that registry page. That is of the utmost importance for me personally. Additionally, speaking of the quest, if I go in and look at my potions, I let them brew overnight. I have four. There they are. That should be good to go. That gets me only needing, what, two more? in order to complete this particular task. Ugh, I'm out of I'm out of my trace detection stuff, but I'm gonna work on those. It should not be too hard to find those two ingredients. As far as brewing potions, I'm going to drop those in real quick. We do have some potion changes a little bit during this event. As soon as I get my master notes done there, we will move on into that. As is standard now, the Brilliant Port Keys are going to be 3KM. That's pretty universal now that we've had a, a few of these since they made that change. And you will be able to see them by, they'll kind of have the little glowing around them. So this is definitely not one that I want to pick up. If I go look at my daily task, we have a potion. We've walked, although we haven't moved at all, but we're gonna get credit for having walked. And like I mentioned, the brew times for Extimulo potions and health potions is going to be reduced by 25 percent let me go check to see because it should have been two hours and then i did the 15 minute reduction i don't know the math on that but an hour 15 looks like it's about 25 percent reduced so i'm going to say that that is up and running and just remember that the brilliant encounters for part one are still going to be spawning so keep that in mind that not all the brilliant Foundables that spawn are going to be serious black. I don't even really remember what was it that we had in the first one. 
I go back and look at my events. Ah, yes. It was the this prisoner escapee and then the Death Eater. So there you go. You are now all up to speed. Get out there. And as always has been the case, these brilliant events are relatively easy to complete without grinding. I don't think I've ever really taken one super seriously to the point that I was trying to knock them all out. Most people, if you grind, will knock this out in a day. If you are a casual player, you, you might come up to the end of the week and need to do one or two more things. But typically, even the most casual players have been able to complete this particular event. I'd love to stay and chit chat with you guys, but I have got to get out. I do need the two more horned serpents to go before I can prestige up the page. I really wish I could have gotten that done before community day, but it didn't happen. I know better what to do this time. I'm going to stick to parking lots. I'm going to stay out of nests because once I complete this page, then I can start hitting those wizarding challenges. I need 17 centaur bows and then I'm going to need 20 more of the eggs. But look at this. As you can see, I have a plethora of these different runestones. 20 level 4, 10 level 3, 14 level 2. That's 44. Add another 15 for level 1. What is that? 59. And then 7 of the level 5s. So like well over 60. Even if I'm only getting drops 1 out of every like or two out of every three, I should be able to complete both of those with even distribution, which we all know they are not evenly distributed, but I should be able to come really close. Oh, and here we go. Could this be Sirius Black? Nope, it's an Earth All right, well, I was hoping for Sirius Black, but I do need to get the oddities for the Brilliant Event Challenges. We have, it, like, October is almost over, but there is so much happening in this game. As soon as this is over, there's like a day layover, and then we're gonna kick back up into just the Halloween event, which looks spectacular. I'm not gonna get into that because it's time to focus on the Brilliant event, but just know that between now and the start of the Halloween event, we are definitely going to discuss new foundables and new reasons to go out and battle fortresses. That's going to do it for today's video. I know it was quick and short, but I want you guys out there working on your brilliant event, not sitting around watching me. So that's all I've got for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Something else spawned. It is not a brilliant event. So until next time.